Diego Costa. What is there to say about Diego Costa? He is known for his on-field brilliant scoring goals and he's also known for his on-field temper. There is a huge question mark over Diego Costa's playing future. Where does the future lie for Diego Costa after Costa was left out of Chelsea's 25-man Champions League squad? And there have been rumours that he wants to go back to Atletico Madrid. And with the transfer window now over, what is Diego Costa? Most importantly, what is Antonio Conte going to do with Diego Costa going forward? The question is, will Diego Costa put on the Chelsea top again this season? But with all the controversy surrounding his name today, I've got 10 things you probably didn't know about Diego Costa. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and make sure you also click on the bell button so you can be a part of the notification squad. Number 10. Learned football on the streets. Diego Costa had a really rough upbringing. Diego Costa learned how to play the game of football on the streets. On the streets of Brazil that is. Some players went through football schools or camps or something similar to that. But Diego Costa took no such thing. He said the street was my school. He only played street football until he was 16 years old. And admitted that it has toughened him up. Number 9. Almost giving up. Diego Costa almost gave up playing football to make money when he was young. During his teenage years, he used to help out his uncle fill up their trucks to sell at their home. Diego Costa quoted, I wanted to give up football so I can earn some money. I didn't want to play if it stopped me earning, especially since my uncle tended to pay me more than I'll actually earn. Lucky he didn't because he's gone on to have a pretty successful career. Number 8. Never believed he would turn professional. Diego Costa learned obviously the game of football out on the streets and it's because of that he never had the self-belief that he would make it to the big time. As a child, Costa did not believe that he would turn into a professional football player because of the remoteness of his hometown. Instead of striving to train as a professional footballer, Costa set up a football academy while giving training to those around him to try and inspire them to go on and be professional football players. Number seven turning his back on his country. So I mentioned it at the start of the video, Diego Costa was brought up in Brazil. He turned his back on Brazil and decided to represent Spain for their national side. Diego Costa represented Brazil twice in 2013 before he was granted his Spanish citizenship. He made his debut for his adopted nation in March of 2014 and went on to represent them in the 2014 FIFA World Cup. And the decision did not go down well with Brazilian coach Luis Felipe Scolari. He was furious and he went on to say, a Brazilian player who refuses to wear the shirt of the national team and compete in a World Cup is turning his back on a dream of millions to represent our national team, the five-time champions in a World Cup in Brazil. Number six, his link to Jose Mourinho. While Jose Mourinho was the manager at Chelsea, Diego Costa was at the club. Costa played under Jose Mourinho during his spell at Chelsea where they did go on to win the Premier League. But they even have another link. Diego Costa and Jose Mourinho, now Manchester United manager, have the same agent. The agent's name is George Mendes and he manages both Diego Costa and Jose Mourinho. Number five his first professional club. When Diego Costa was 18 years old, he joined his first professional club, Braga, in Portugal. It was his manager, George Mendes, who did take the teenager to Europe, where he would sign for Braga in Portugal. He would join the reserves, then being loaned out, and then he would be snapped up by Atletico Madrid in 2006. And during a four year period, he went out on loan for another few years before returning to Atletico Madrid in 2010, and then making the switch to Chelsea, where he is today. Number four, leading Atletico to the title. Diego Costa was a huge reason why Atletico Madrid went on to win their first La Liga title since 1996. Costa scored a remarkable 27 goals in 34 league appearances, including a famous goal at the Bernabeu that gave Atletico its first win against Real Madrid in the La Liga since 1999. And the question is, could Diego make the move back to Atletico and possibly drive them to another La Liga title in the future. Number three, the neighbor story. Where do I begin on this story? Diego Costa isn't the best neighbor to have. A club official from one of the teams he was at loan at had a story about Diego. He went on to say on one occasion, he had a porn movie blaring out of his apartment and a poor woman came down to tell them to turn the volume down. Costa responded with, what's the matter? Don't you like making love? And probably something that Diego Costa didn't want the public to know. Number two, 
his love for the game. We see Diego Costa's passion out on the pitch and there is no denying that he loves the game. A teammate from his loan spell at Celta Vigo went on to say, training wasn't enough for him and he used to play with his mate on the university pitches at 11 p.m. Diego, you can't keep doing that. You are going to do yourself an injury, but he couldn't help himself. He would just continue playing until he was tired or worn out. Number one, named after Diego Maradona. Diego Costa, Diego Maradona. Two great attacking players and two fantastic strikers. Rivalries in sport are common. One such rivalry is between two countries of Brazil and Argentina. Despite being Brazilian born, Diego's father named him after the Argentine football legend, Diego Maradona. And that is why Costa's first name is Diego. And that is the 10 things you probably didn't know about Diego Costa. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and give it a like rating. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and I'll see you all on my next video.